Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to replace the TWRP recovery with the AOSP recovery. So just to recap, when you are flashing a custom ROM, the general steps are to flash a TWRP recovery. Once you have flashed the TWRP recovery, then you will have to flash the custom ROM. And once you have flashed the custom ROM, then that ROM will replace the TWRP recovery with its own AOSP recovery. For example, if you are flashing the Lineage OS ROM, then you will have to flash the TWRP recovery, then flash the Lineage OS ROM. And once you have flashed the Lineage OS ROM, then the Lineage OS will replace the TWRP recovery with its own Lineage OS recovery. In this regard, I had made a video on how you could replace the AOSP recovery with TWRP. In other words, how you could replace the Lineage OS recovery and get back the TWRP recovery. However, in this video, I will show you how to do the re reverse. In other words, if you have a running a custom ROM with the TWRP recovery, I will show you how to get back the AOSP recovery. So, if for example, you are running the Pixel ROM and you have the TWRP recovery, then I will show you how to get back to the Pixel experience recovery on the Pixel ROM. So, with that in mind, let's get started. For the sake of reference, I am using a Pixel ROM. You could try out the steps across all the AOSP ROM. Just to be sure, I am using a Pixel ROM and it's on the latest Android 13 build. So, now the steps could take two direction. The first one is if you have just booted your phone to the TWRP recovery for one time usage, then a subsequent reboot will remove TWRP recovery and it will take you to the AOSP recovery. On the other hand, if you have permanently flashed the recovery, then we'll have to take a slightly longer route. I'll show you both these methods. So, first off, let's assume that you have just booted your phone to the TWRP recovery for one time usage on a AOSP recovery on an AOSP ROM. So, let me show you currently I'm running an AOSP ROM, which is the Pixel ROM. And let's just boot our phone to the fast boot mode first. So let me do so. And then I'll boot my phone to the TWRP recovery just for one time usage. So let me do that as well. And then I'll show you the steps. So for example, if you're currently running an AOSP ROM and you have only booted your phone to the TWRP recovery for one time usage, such as the case with me. So as of now, sorry, just a minute, let me my passport boot. TWRP.IMG. So, for example, if you have are running an AOSP ROM and you have booted your phone to the TWRP recovery just for one time usage, in that case, you could easily remove this recovery and go back to the AOSP recovery with a simple restart. So, let me show you what I mean. So, currently, I am TWRP recovery. Since I use the boot command, I am not flashing it permanently. So, if I go to reboot and let me boot to the OS, now as soon as I boot to the OS, the TWRP recovery will be replaced by the AOSP recovery, which in my case will be the pixel recovery. So let me show you that as well, and then we will proceed ahead with the next step. In the next step, I'll show you if you have flashed the recovery onto your phone, then how you could replace the TWRP recovery with the AOSP recovery in that case as well. But first, I have shown you the steps. If you have just booted your phone to the recovery, and then once you do a restart, and upon restart, if you now boot your phone to the recovery mode, so your phone should now boot to the AOSP recovery and not the TWRP recovery. Let me show you that. So let's just wait for a few seconds and our phone, my phone will now boot to the Pixel recovery because I'm using a Pixel ROM. So let's just wait for a few seconds. And then we will check out the results. So as you could see, I'm now in the Pixel recovery. So just to repeat, if you have just used the fastboot boot command to boot the TWRP recovery, then upon a subsequent reboot, your phone will be back to the AOSP recovery. But things might take a turn for a very difficult task if you have permanently flashed the recovery. So let's now proceed ahead and do that as well. So now I'll show you how to go back to the AOSP recovery for TWRP recovery if you have done a permanent flash. So first off, it will take me a few seconds to permanently flash the TWRP recovery onto my phone. So please wait for a few seconds. Let me flash the TWRP recovery and then We'll move ahead with the next step. So my phone is not booted to the OS. So let me now boot my phone to the fast boot mode. It will only take a few seconds. Once in the fast boot mode, I will now flash my recovery. So first, I have to boot my phone. So just a minute. My phone is currently booting to the fast boot, and now we are in the fast boot mode. So let me now first boot my phone to the PWRP recovery. We cannot directly flash the WRP because there is no recovery partition in my phone. So we'll first boot the recovery using the boot command. And now I will do a permanent flash. Now do keep in mind that this permanent flash varies depending on the phone that you own. In most cases, after doing a boot, you could go to advanced 
and select either the install recovery RAM disk and then choose the tree of the RP IMG file to flash it or simply select flash current tree of the RP and perform a write step to confirm. So with this, our phone will now flash the TWRP recovery and with this we have permanently got the TWRP recovery installed onto our phone. So we'll verify that as well. So the flashing is now complete, it's taking a backup, so it will only take a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll proceed ahead with the next step. So just to verify, I am currently rebooting my phone to the fastboot mode first, and from fastboot mode I'll reboot to the recovery. And then I'll show you that my phone has installed the PWRP recovery. So now if I type in fastboot, reboot, recovery and hit enter. So just to verify, my phone will now boot to the PWRP recovery and this signifies that the PWRP recovery has been permanently flashed onto my phone. So as you could see, that is indeed the case. So as of now, we have the PWRP recovery permanently flashed onto our phone. And now I'll show you how to revert to back to the AOSP recovery. So in my case, I'm using a pixel ROM. So let me show you how to go back to the pixel recovery. For that, your first course of action is to verify the firmware version which you have currently installed onto your phone. You have to download the same version of the ROM. So in my case, I'm currently using the pixel XML, the version of April. So I've downloaded the same firmware. You could verify the same from the build number onto your phone. I will show you that screen as well. So please make sure to download the same ROM version which is currently installed onto our phone. And once you have done the download, so take just a minute, let me quickly show you. So go to settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on, or rather you could see the build number. So in my case, I'm currently using the April build number. So I've got the same recovery, same firmware over here. So make sure to install the, download the same firmware which correspond to your build number. And once you've got the firmware, you, it will be in a zip format. So extract the firmware or the custom ROM anywhere on your PC. Once you've done the extraction, you will get a couple of files along similar line. Out of this, we need the payload.bin file. So make sure to keep this file handy. And likewise, you also have to download and extract the fastboot enhanced tool. I have linked this tool in the description of the video. Do refer to the my guide and make sure to download the tool and then extract them onto your PC. I've done the extraction over here. As you could see, these are the files of the fastboot enhanced tool. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once that is done, you now have to copy the payload.bin file of the custom ROM which is currently installed onto our phone. So in my case, this is the pixel ROM. So download the payload.bin file and paste the bin file inside the fastboot enhanced folder. Once you have done so, now launch the fastboot enhanced tool using the exe file and now go to the payload dumper section, hit the browse button and now select the payload.bin file and click on open. It will now load the payload bin file. So go to the partition tab and now we need two files. The first one is the boot partition and the last and the next one is the vendor boot. So select both this file and click on extract image. Now choose a location. I'm choosing desktop and click OK. So you could also do extraction using some Python commands. But in case of Python, it will extract all the firmware files. So it will take quite a lot of time. So for the ease of convenience, I'm using this tool because it gives us an option to extract individual files. So for this guide, I only need the boot file and the vendor boot file. So make sure to extract both this file and once you have done, you will get the operation complete message. So click on OK and with this, we would have got both the files. So let's verify the same. So this is the boot and vendor boot file. Now copy both this file and you have to place it inside the platform to folders on your PC. I have linked this folder in my guide, refer to my guide, download this platform tools and extract them onto your PC and now place both the boot and vendor boot file inside the platform tools folder. Just to repeat, both the boot and vendor boot file are from the custom ROM which is currently installed onto my phone. It's of the same firmware and I've extracted it using the fastboot enhanced tool. Once you've done the extraction, you have to place both the file inside the platform tools folder. Once that is done, you now have to boot your phone to the fastboot mode. So for that, go to settings menu, tap on and go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get the prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, go to system. You should now see developer option, go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once that is done, I will also recommend you to take a backup just to be on the safer side. Once then, let's now boot our phone to the fastboot mode. So open CMD window inside the home tool folder. So type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tool folder. Now type in ADV, reboot, recovery, and hit enter. And this will boot your phone to the fastboot mode. It will only take a few seconds. So let's just wait for a time frame and we will then verify the result. So 
our phone should now be boot to the fast boot mode and it's now in the fast boot mode in a few seconds okay sorry just a minute i have used a command to boot to the recovery mode in fact i have to boot to the fast boot mode so for booting to fast boot mode you have to use adb reboot bootloader and not the recovery command anyway since now i am in the recovery i will do a fast boot mode from here itself so just to repeat you don't have to use this command in you have to in fact use the adb reboot bootloader command and your phone will then boot to the fast boot mode sorry for this mistake so moving on now type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure you're getting a serial id if you're not getting this id then you'll have to install fast boot drivers i have made a guide on the same you could refer to my guide and install the fast boot drivers and once you've installed the fast boot drivers you now have to flash both the boot and vendor boot files make sure that the name of the files are boot and vendor underscore boot both are in the img format and both are placed inside the platform the folder once that's well and good we could now flash both this file so first of all let's flash the boot file type in fast boot flash boot and boot.img and hit enter it will now flash the boot file and it will only take a few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame once that is done you now have to flash the vendor boot so type in fast boot flash vendor underscore boot and vendor underscore boot dot img so just to verify the fast boot flash is the fast boot flash is the flash command this is the partition name and this is the file name so type in the command and hit enter and it will now flash the vendor boot file as well it will again only take a few seconds once that is done we should now boot our phone to the recovery mode and check out the results so type in fast boot reboot recovery and hit enter and our phone should now go to the excel recovery and not the pwrp recovery so just verify the same and i'll show you that as well so as you could see we are now in the pixel experience recovery and we have replaced the pwrp recovery so just to repeat the entire process if you have just used the pwrp for one time use it using the fast boot command then upon a subsequent reboot pwrp will be replaced by the asp recovery on the other hand if you have permanently flashed the pwrp recovery then you will have to extract your firmware get the payload.bin file extract the payload bin file using the fast boot enhance and using that you just have to extract the boot and the vendor boot file once you have extracted both this file you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode and then simply flash both the file using both these commands once you have flashed both this file the pwrp recovery will now be replaced with the pixel extended recovery and with this we have now got the pixel recovery permanently installed onto our phone so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching